Multiple choice questions? Reading the question, we want to put a ball inside of here. So, we need to first put this shape together to know what this mystery shape is. Well, that's a base, and that's also a base. And if you fold these two up and wrap this around, it turns into a cylinder, which will have the following look. We're going to put a ball inside of that. Now, what we see is the radius here is the same as the radius of the cylinder. To digress for a sec, we need to find the surface area of the mystery shape. So what the question is really saying is, what's the surface area of the cylinder? Well, the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi rh plus 2 pi r squared. Remember, the way that we memorize this is we talk about the surface area of any prism, and a cylinder is just a circular prism, is perimeter of the base times the height of the shape plus two areas of the base. Now, finishing this up and showing how the parts fit in, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r times the height, and the area of a circle is pi r squared, and we have two of them. What you should see is the circle will go from here to here if we roll it all the way across, and that'll go one complete circumference. Same thing on bottom. So this 2 pi r h really is just base times height. So the length times the height to find the area of this rectangle. Now, just drilling this home, this is 2 pi r h, this is pi r squared, and this is also pi r squared, and now we have our equation and we know where it comes from. I hate to just present equations to be memorized, because memorized things get forgotten, whereas things that are memorized and based on common sense, which they could actually re-derive if they needed to, those things never forget forgotten. Now, finishing this up, our last task is to find the height of this. We recognize it's the same thing as the diameter of the circle, and the diameter is just 2r, or the diameter of the sphere, excuse me, so it's 2r. Okay, well now, we know the radius is the radius, it's the same, and the height is 2r. We're just going to plug these values into our equation and finish it up. So 2 pi r times 2r plus 2 pi r squared. So we have 4 out front, 4 pi r squared plus another 2 pi r squared, combine some like terms. 6 pi r squared, high five your test, circle your answer, move on to your next question. Congratulations, you're on your way to passing your CSET.